दो एक ट्रिपल सी कोर्स ऑन कंप्यूटर कंसेप्ट इंट्रोडक्शन जीयूआई बेस्ड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम पार्ट टू ऑनलाइन कंटेंट्स फॉर कोर्स ऑन कंप्यूटर कंसेप्ट यू विल नो अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू जी यू आई बेस्ड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स ऑब्जेक्टिव You will learn about purpose of operating system, user interface of Windows, using menus and icons, managing files and folders. Types of operating systems. There are two types of operating system: single user operating system and multi user operating system. first is single user operating system this operating system allows only one user to work one uh, computer at a time example ms dos and cpm multi user operating system this operating system allows more than one user to work on the computer at the same time this operating system allocate memory in such a way that different users can work simultaneously without disturbing each other they also allocate the processing time in such a way that every user get a very quick a response from the machine these are also known as time sharing operating system example linux unix xnix vms windows nt type of operating systems are windows linux max operating system windows and linux windows and linux both have a user friendly graphical user interface gui gui includes such thing as windows fold down menus buttons scroll bar iconic images and wizard They allow user to interact with the program without having to type the commands from the keyboard. User can use pointing device like mouse to perform a specific task on computer. First is Linux. Linux is a multi-tasking, multi-user operating system, which means that many people can run many different application on one computer at the same time linux is generic term referring to unix like computer operating system based on the linux kernel their development is one of the most prominent examples of free and open source software collaboration typically all the underlying source code can be used freely modified and redistributed both commercially and non commercially linux is predominantly known for its use in servers although it can be installed on a wide variety of computer 
hardware linux distribution installed on the both desktop and laptop computers have become increasingly common place in recent years the name linux come from the linux Linux kernel originally written in the 1991 by the Linus Torvalds was the student of Helsinki University Microsoft Windows Windows operating system is GUI based and can be used on desktop computer its interface has the following properties First is title bar the title bar contains the name of the program you are working with and is the some cases the name of the open document also appears In the top right corner we can find the minimize maximize restore and the close buttons menu bar the menu bar has the program function organize the menus for example we click on files the different operation that can be perform with files are display all the operation that the program allows us to do are located within the different menus toolbar the toolbar contains icons to immediately execute some of the most often used commands scroll bar the scroll bar allow us to move throughout the page in quick and simple manner simply drag the bar with the mouse or click on the arrow there are bar to move along the width of the page and bar to move along the height of the page the title is square with dots on the right used to change the size of the windows simply click and drag a status bar the status bar used to give user certain information pertaining to the current program the information displayed on it the varies depending on the program window which is opened at that time desktop the desktop is the on screen work area on which windows appear it it is the first screen that appear when the operating system has in slides in our case it will be the windows xp desktop task bar it is the long horizontal bar at the bottom of your screen unlike the desktop which can get obscured by the windows on top of it the task bar is the visible almost all the time It has four main section. First is the start button. It is used to open the start menu. Second, quick launch toolbar. It lets you start program with one click. Third, the middle section. It shows you which program and document we have opened, and allows you to quickly switch between them. And the fourth is the notification area. it includes a clock and icons a small picture that communicate the status of certain program and the computer settings icons a computer icon is a graphical symbol that represent a property function or entity its computer applications icons are used to quickly execute commands or open programs and documents 
you access the functionality behind an icon by clicking or double clicking it operating system often allow you to customize visuals of the various objects by applying your own custom icons you may obtain icons from the various sources for example from our icons library or you can build your own i can't look like this types introduction to gui based operating system part 2 the end